Hello everyone, this is Umair Hassan and you are watching CSS CSA lecture series. Uh, this is a very important lecture and uh, this is about uh, histogram. Uh, what we are going to do today is we are going to study about uh, histogram, uh, types of histogram, uh, one with equal interval, the other one with unequal interval and then a question from your past paper. Uh, it is quite related to bar graph but it has some specific difference when you will compare it with the bar graph and this was one of the questions in your papers as well I think the difference between histogram and bar chart so uh, let us start from histogram so histogram is basically mm, quite similar to bar chart because it has bars it has bars but the difference is it has bars without spaces without spaces bars are adjacent one bar then the next one then the next one because your horizontal axis is for class intervals and your vertical axis is for frequency uh, well one thing uh, a histogram basically we are you we, we are using the histogram to display the data so you use histogram to display uh, data uh, to display observations uh, uh, to analyze the observation in, in a better way so what is written over here about histogram is a chart that looks like a bar graph it is but without spaces when bar graph have spaces i have told this in my previous lecture it is usually used to represent okay another important thing group data continuous data so if you, if you are asked about the difference between a bar graph and a histogram then the difference is quite obvious first difference is bar graphs have bars that have spaces while histogram don't have spaces in between the bars difference number two bar graph is usually used to represent discrete data while a histogram is mostly used for group data or continuous data group data mean when data is divided in groups uh, if if you are given with the random data and you divide your data in groups then that is group data you will uh, you will be getting this point from the example what is group data and continuous data well continuous data mean uh, when the data values fall in certain range like height of buildings uh, they may fall in in range for example height is 170.3 meter so 170.3 meter falls in a range 170 uh, 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 170 to 171 because then we may round off the values according to the uh, given data so when your observations falls in between some uh, uh, range it falls between some range like uh, the speed of cars uh, uh, it falls between the range you if you measure the speed of the car and that is one one nineteen point five so it falls between one nineteen and one twenty so when data is within some range that is continuous data height my height uh, it falls uh, in between some range of values so that is continuous okay and discrete data uh, well that is quite a uh, uh, fixed one like uh, number of students in class uh, well they cannot be 20.5 they may be 20 if there are 20 students they are 20 uh, they are not 20.5 because you will count a complete individual so that is discrete data so coming towards the question okay characteristics horizontal scale is continuous this one uh, well, let me elaborate these two points from my question so the table shows height of trees observed in a survey am I right yes height of trees and you have to draw a histogram for this one you have been given this data you're quite lucky that uh, they have given you the data uh, in frequency table this is your frequency table uh, in which frequency of each group is shown 21 is frequency of this group 
the group is from 0 to 5 then the next group is from 5 to 10 and its frequency is 18 the next group is from 10 to 15 the frequency is 19 next group is from 15 to 20 frequency is 29 next group is from 20 to 25 frequency is 29 next group is from 25 to 30 frequency is 30 now I have told you that histogram have types this one is for equal interval equal class interval these are the classes and these classes have equal intervals 5 0 to 5 interval is 5 5 to 10 interval is 5 10 to 15 interval is 5 15 to 20 interval is 5 so the interval the difference between upper class limit and lower class limit the difference is same 5 this is what you call equal class interval so the, this may be uh, one of the question they may ask you from this type of histogram so how you are going to plot it that is quite simple you will draw a chart on x axis you are going to show your classes on y axis you are going to show your frequencies so i am marking classes class interval 0 to 5 5 to 10 10 to 15 15 to 20 20 to 25 25 to 30 and on y axis i will show the frequencies highest frequency is 30 let us take the interval of 5 5 10 15 20 25 30 so your first bar will be from 0 to 5 with a frequency of 21 from 0 to 5 with a frequency of 21 this is 21 so this is your first bar with the frequency of 21 the second bar is from 5 to 10 with the frequency of 18 5 to 10 with the frequency of 18 18 over here so this is your second bar now they are adjacent no space the third bar will be from 10 to 15 with a frequency of 19 10 to 15 with a frequency of 19 the next is from 15 to 20 with the frequency of 29 15 to 20 with the frequency of 29 like here frequency of 29 next 20 to 25 is frequency of 29 20 to 25 has a frequency of 29 then they are same in height because frequencies are same and then from 25 to 30 the frequency is 30 so you have to make them adjacent with no spaces in between them so this is your bar graph no spaces in between the bars so this is how you are going to plot a histogram with equal class intervals so let us take an example of unequal class intervals wait a minute okay this is the next case when histogram are to be uh, plotted with unequal class interval now what is unequal class interval now this one 5 to 15 you have interval of 10 then from 15 to 20 you have interval of 5 20 25 has got interval of 5 and from 25 to 40 you have got interval of uh, 15 well they are unequal they are not equal so the histogram in this case will not be plotted by the same technique as i have done in my previous question so for this one the frequency is given uh, from 5 to 15 uh, we have number of plant basically number of plant is frequency 4 15 to 20 frequency is 8 mean 8 plants are in this range 15 to 20 then from 20 to 25 you have 7 plants number of plant is frequency now how to plot this one you are not going to use frequency directly in this case we are going to use a term which is called frequency density frequency density is frequency divided by class width like frequency is 4 divided by class width the width of this class is 10 from 5 to 15 the width is 10 
So, 4 over 10 frequency divided by class width 4 over 10 will give you 0 0.4. The frequency density for next class is frequency divided by width of the class. Width is 5 from 15 to 20 width is 5. So, frequency is 8 divided by width which is 5. So, 8 over 5 will give you 1.6. That is frequency density. Similarly, find frequency density for the next two classes by dividing the frequency by class width. So, you got frequency density. Now, you can plot histogram. Y axis will be for frequency density and X axis will be for class intervals. Now, for first one, the class is from 5, the interval is from 5 to 15. So, from 5 to 15, you have to draw frequency density of 0 0.4. This is 0 0.4. Well, y axis is selected according to the frequency densities values. Uh, my maximum values are 1.6 and my minimum value is 0 0.4. So, I have to adjust my values over here. So, I have taken my own intervals. You can take your own interval. You may take 8.2, 0.4, 0.6, 0.8, 1, 1 1.2, 1 1.4, 1.6. 1 that is your choice. Now, from 5 to 15, the bar will be having a height of 0 0.4 like this. From 15 to 20, frequency density is 1.6. 15 to 20, frequency density is 1.6. This is 1.6. From 20 to 25, frequency density is 1.4, 1.2, 1.6, 1 1.4 like over here from 20 to 25, 20 to 25, 1.4, 20 to 25, 1.4, from 25 to 40, it is 0 0.4, 25 to 40, 0 0.4, this one, this one. Now, this is your histogram when the e intervals are unequal. This will be uh, plotted with using the term frequency density. Now, one more thing area of each bar, each bar will give you what? Will give you frequency of that interval. Like area of this one, the base is 5, 20 to 25, the base is 5 and the height is 1.4. So, 5 into 1.4 will give you 7, 20 to 25, 20 to 25, 5 into 1.4 will give you 7. So, area of each bar will give you there the frequencies of respective class. So, this is a histogram for unequal interval. Uh, one of the questions was in your CSS paper, uh, well data was given, uh, discrete data was given and they asked you to draw a histogram so you have to plot frequency table for that and then you have to plot histogram well if you want to access that question you can go into the playlist of my channel where you have css past papers and from there you can uh, have the question on histogram moreover i will add the card of the past paper question relevant to histogram that will be shown at the top of the video at the top of video there will be an option histogram CSS GSA histogram past paper so you can click on the card and you can access to that past paper related to this topic so keep watching thank you so much